Hi there, Perfected Caster here and welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. This is the new Moore Prime P2 and it is the current centerpiece of my mobile guitar content creation rig. In this video, we'll talk about its key upgrades from the Prime P1 and I'll show you how I've been using it in my travels these past few months. I received my Moore Prime P2 really early so I can use it in my workflow and get this video ready for the product launch. Thank you Moore for being such a great friend and supporter of my channel. To buy your very own Prime P2, please use my affiliate links in the video description. Every little bit helps and thank you so much for your extra support. The Moore Prime P2 addresses a lot of the critique and feedback given by the users of the Prime P1. What remains shared between the P1 and the P2 are the Prime app, which is available on iOS and Android, and the GWF4 footswitch. Now let's talk about the upgrades. First up is the colored touchscreen, which allows you to swipe through banks and select presets, as well as activate the tuner without having to go through the app. The P2 also operates in stereo through all its outputs via the USB-C OTG, via the headphone output, and with a TRS to dual TSY cable, you can also get stereo through the quarter inch output. The mono operation was one of the biggest complaints about the Prime P1, so Moore addressed that with the Prime P2. Aside from the guitar input, the Prime P2 also has a mic input via TRRS into the headphone jack. Now this has been a game changer for my workflow because now I can bake in both voiceover and guitar tones into my recorded clips or live streams. Okay, here's a quick look into the guitar content creation rig. Everything is mounted on a nice sturdy tripod from Gravity Stands and right at the center of it is the Moore Prime P2. Attached on one side is the new DJI Action 4 camera, which can receive audio via OTG, making it perfect for this rig. To counterbalance the way, there is a small RGB light panel attached on the other side. To record the voiceovers, I used a Rode mini shotgun mic mounted on a small extension arm attached at the back of the tripod. Though sometimes I swap out the mini shotgun mic with the Rode Wireless Go 2, especially if I'm recording something like an interview with two people. Now to round out the rig, I use a couple of wireless bugs. One to get the guitar signal into the Moore Prime P2, and the other as my wireless IEM so I can hear everything. Let me know in the comments if you want me to get into the build details of this rig. Let's hear it, let's hear it. Okay, this is like a bluesy kind of sound okay. with the neck pick up. Yeah. Yeah. You get that, that, that tone like... Yeah, really gritty. Yeah, yeah, yeah no yeah. matter if with distortion, overdrive or whatever, yeah. you still get the, the trunkiness. Yes, yes. Yeah. This is extra trangy. Yeah. Can we get to the humbucker? The humbucker. And then pull. Yeah. Not of sustain. Sustain. Yeah, yeah. And we pull it. I'm going to reach over to my Moore Prime P2 and dial in my crunch tone. Let's go 
to the clean sound. And let's put in some crunch. Let's go to a clean sound. Put on some dirt. Dial in some crunch. Okay, let's try to shred it up. Now, because of the vintage nature of these pickups, there is no hiding behind gain. <laughs> so if you are a sloppy player or if you feel sloppy for a particular day, it will show it. Prime P2 also has a basic MIDI control using the included MIDI cable. Though I'll talk more about the MIDI capabilities a little bit later on. And finally, the looper function can now save up to 10 loops of eight minutes each. So aside from loops, you can use the Prime P2 as a scratch recorder to capture song ideas. Now, as good as the upgrades are, I want to point out some things that are cons and can be improved. The Prime P2's MIDI capabilities are very basic and it only accepts CC commands. 
and there's still no expression control. The MIDI is really only usable if you're going to drop the P2 into an already working MIDI rig. So instead of springing for a fully featured MIDI foot switch, the best option is still the Moore GWF4 if you want hands-free control of the Prime P2. The next issue is regarding the looper function. Now, while you can save up to 10 loops right now, there is no way to export those loops out of the P2 for further processing. Hopefully later on, Mover releases a P2 looper app that allows you to import and export clips to and from the Prime P2. Now lastly, the biggest drawback for me is the power draw. Both the P1 and the P2 charge themselves via the USB-C port. So these will drain your phone's battery. This is the biggest downside for me, especially at events like NAMM and at Guitar Summit, where I need to keep filming content. The workaround is to use these OTG adapters that block charging. However, I don't know what these are called exactly, so if anybody knows, please put it in the comments. Moore sent me these adapters, but looking at the Amazon listing, it looks like they will not come with the P2. Now for the burning question that's on everyone's minds. For the $100 difference, is it worth upgrading from the P1 to the P2? I think the convenience alone of the touch screen is worth it. You can play and practice right away without having to fire up the phone app. Plus you get to enjoy all the tones in stereo. Now, if you're a guitar content creator like me, then it's a no brainer. You can record great guitar tones, including the voice over anywhere you want, and you can easily share and upload those clips right away to the platform of your choice. Well, there you have it. That's the new Prime P2 from Moor, all-in-one pocket guitar effects and content creation tool. Again, big thanks to Moor for sponsoring this video and for giving me free reign in presenting the Prime P2 to all you guys. Please drop by the video description and use my affiliate links to buy your very own Prime P2. Thank you so much for your extra support. And since you made it this far, you can give this video a thumbs up, like, hit subscribe if you haven't yet, and don't forget to ring that bell. And let me know what you think of the Prime P2 in the comment section. Click on an end card to go watch another video, then go grab your guitar and play something. You all know the drill, practice makes perfecto. Cheers, guys.